Daisy went on the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast to share her first interview since the finale. And here are the spark notes, part one. So how she got on the show is that she was just making TikToks about her cochlear implant. And a producer reached out to her and was like, would you ever go on the show? And she was like, maybe? The finale of After the Final Rose was the one year anniversary of when she got her cochlear implant. So she was actually really hesitant to go on the show because things were so new for her. Just having to rehear things in a different way and speech and being in a new environment. It was going to be really hard for her to go on a show and be around people that she's never met. So the first night she actually almost left, but the producers reassured her and comforted her and said that night one was going to be the hardest night of them all. Because just before the show, she had her treatment done and she was doing Eastern to Western medicine. She thought nothing could get worse. She went to doctors in different countries. And it took about two months after treatment to feel normal again. When she saw Joey out of the limo, she was really excited and nervous. She was very excited that he was the bachelor to begin with. The first conversation she had with him, she knew something was there, but she was actually the last person to talk to him on night one, and it wasn't until like 6 a.m. And she said, oddly, Joey felt really present and she knew something was there. She said the other girls in the house noticed before she did that there was a connection there and that she was one of the front runners. She knew that she liked him more and more each week. And when it came to Jasper, that was like a huge stepping stone for her right before she introduced him to her family. Like and comment for part two. Daisy went on the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast to give her first interview since the show. And here are the spark notes, part two. So the reason why it was such a big deal for her to open up to Joey about her cochlear implant is because everything was so new for her. This was the first guy that she told about her story other than one date she went on back home with someone she already knew. And it was really rewarding for her getting messages from parents who had kids with cochlear implants so that they could see that they're able to fall in love too and it's not going to hold them back. She said Joey responded way better than she could have ever dreamed of. It was the perfect response. And she loved getting the first one-on-one -on -one because she was able to build a really big foundation with him. She never felt insecure in the relationship during this season because they kept progressing all season. She said they kept progressing until they didn't. Right before hometowns, she noticed that other girls were starting to say they were falling in love with him and she wasn't there yet. And she was nervous to tell Joey that because she didn't want to take someone else's spot at hometowns if she was behind the other girls. But Joey knew that she was holding back, that he really cared about her. And she's happy she eventually let herself to fall, and she wishes that she was able to do that sooner, but she had her guard up. She saw the energy between Kelsey and Joey at that rose ceremony, and she started crying, and then they both hugged her to console her. Everything went well when she met his family, but the next day, on their last one-on-one -on -one date, she knew something was off from the beginning. She says she felt like they were both feeling it, that it was over, but they were going through with the date, they were having a spiritual awakening, and they needed time to process it. She never wanted to push him on that last date if he was going to break up with her, even though she kind of knew it was over because she wanted him to do it if he had enough respect for her. She said there was actually something always missing between her and Joey since the beginning, but she ignored it because she really wanted it and she felt like she was trying to force it. But ultimately, she's really happy that she went for it and that it ended beautifully for everyone involved. Like for part three, where I will recap the rest of the podcast. Everything Daisy Kent said on the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast, part three, which is also going to be the final part. You can go watch parts one and two on my page. So during part three, she talked about going to Kelsey's room and how she was so sure that that was the right thing to do. She said she wanted to check on Kelsey as a friend and let her and Joey know through her that everything was going to be okay because she knew she was being broken up with. She said there actually was a lot of conversation that was cut from their talk. What was cut was Kelsey also reassuring Daisy that she knew it was her all week and she was actually worried for Daisy. And that Daisy reassured Kelsey that she knew that Joey was not her person either. By the end of the show, the girls just get so close. Her, Rachel, and Kelsey were particularly really close. And she just wanted Joey and Kelsey to know that she was going to be supportive of their love story. Watching the show back was really validating for her because she knew in Jasper that if it wasn't going to be her, she thought that Joey and Kelsey would make a really good fit together. She did express that she turned down The Bachelorette and she was not ready for that. She just had a really big year going on The Bachelor and everything that happened with her health that she just wanted to take a beat and enjoy life for a little bit and control her own narrative. She's going to keep working on her nonprofit, which is heartyourheart.org. And she's writing another children's book and a memoir about her life. In regards to that music video that went viral, she thought it was really funny because her friend from like elementary school asked her to be on it a long time ago. And at that time in her life, she really wanted to embrace music because she was losing her hearing and she was gonna miss, you know, listening to music if she never got her hearing back. She told her mom that everyone online was freaking out about the music video and her mom was like, I get it. She also says if they asked her to do Bachelor in Paradise, she would probably say no, 
but you never know in the future. And she also would be open to being the bachelorette in the future. She loved being on the show, but right now she just wants to, you know, do her own thing and, you know, take a beat. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to leave a daisy emoji in the comments below.